Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics and happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today, we have 3 to the x plus 3 to the y plus 3 to the z equal to 837 and we need to find our x, y and the z in this question. How can you do this? I'm going to show you a really good approach. How can you do this? So step by step, I hope you will understand my explanation. But first, let's suppose that x is greater or equal than y and y is greater or equal than z. Let's suppose this this inequality, that this is correct. Okay, and right now I, I suggest you to factor out 3 to the power z. Let's factor in 3 to the power z. So we have 3 to the power z in parentheses right here. We will have 3 to the power not x but x minus z because we factor x, <coughs> we factor 3 to the power z plus 3 to the power y minus z because we factor in 3 to the power z and plus 1 because we factor 3 to the power z equal to 837. So we have this expression when we factor 3 to the power z. And right now, take a look closely, <coughs> what can we do right now? Well, let's think a little bit about this 837. So 837. If we divided it by 3, we can do this because we have 18 as a sum, so it can be divided by 3. If we divide it, we will have 279. Right here, this 279 can be divided by 3. So as a result, 93. And if we divide this 93 by 3, we will have 31. So it cannot be divided by, by 3. So 31 and 3 to the power to the power cube. Yeah? So we can write it in this way. Take a look closely. We can write this 837 as in this way. So we have 3 to the power z in parentheses, 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z and plus 1 and this 837 we can write as 3 cube yeah 3 times 3 times 3 and times 31 yes yeah? so we can write it in this way this 837 okay what we're we going to do next take a look closely what we have right now right here we have a product of two elements so this one 3 to the power z and this long parentheses so this is two elements and right here 3 cube times 31 but if you look closely to this left hand side and to right hand side we can see this expression 3 to the power z and right here 3 cube so we can easily suppose that z equal to 3 because we have 3 to the power z we have this expression 3 to the power z equal to 3 cube and right now z equal to 3 let's start with d equal to 3 and right here we can in our minds we can cancel this 3 to the power z so we don't we don't need it right now we have we have right now these parentheses and 31 so let's try to continue to solve this interesting problem so we have 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z plus 1 equal to 31. So in our minds we cancel this because we know that z equal to 3. Okay, right now we have this expression. And this expression is really good because this is a constant, so we can easily subtract 1 from both sides. So we will have 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z equal to 30. Okay, we can easily bring this one to the right hand side. Okay, let's try to let's try to solve this interesting interesting question. How can we do this? But we suppose in the beginning that x is greater or equal than y. So as a result, we will have that right here x minus z from here is greater than y minus z. So this this power is greater than this power on the right hand side. Okay, and right now let's let's factor this 3 to the power y minus z. If we factor this 3 to the power y minus z right here, so 3 to the power y minus z we factor in, and in parentheses we will have 3 to the power from this one we subtract this y minus z. So we will have x minus z minus in second parentheses y minus z and plus plus 1. And this 30, I want to write as 3 times 10, okay? I want to write this 30 as 3 times 10. So I hope you understand this step. We just factor as the same trick right here. We factor in 3 to the power z, and right here we factor this element. Okay, what we're we going to do next? Let's subtract this in our parentheses at first. So we will have 3 to the power y minus z. And in parentheses, we will have 3 to the power x minus z minus y 
and plus z because we have minus right here plus 1 equal to 3 times 10 so I hope you understand this step it's really good when you understand what I'm going to do right now and take a look closely as a power right here z and z we can easily cancel so as a result we will have 3 to the power y minus z in parentheses 3 to the power x minus y plus 1 equal to 3 times 10 so after this factoring step we have this expression as you can see we have the same expression right here in the beginning so we have 3 to the sum, some power and parentheses equal to a product and we have the same situation right here so take a look closely we have the product of two elements we have a product of this one and this one equal to product of two elements right here but moreover if we look closely we will have 3 to the power y minus z and 3 to the thumb power right here but we know this power this is the first power so one and only case that this equation works is when this power equal to this one so we will have y minus z equal to equal to one okay but we know z z equal to three so we will have y minus three equal to one and from here y equal to four okay okay so we have this this expression okay we have z we have y let's go next so what we have right now in our minds we cancel this expression and this expression so we still have this 3 to the power x minus y plus 1 equal to right here 10 and if we look closely to this we bring this one on the right hand side so we will have 3 to the power x minus y equal to equal to 9 and this is a classic exponential uh, equation because we have a power we have really good number on the right hand side because we can write it as 3 square so as a result x minus y equal to need to be equal to 2 okay okay so we have x minus y equal to 2 okay we have this equation but what about x we need to find it we don't know it but we need y take a look closely we have z equal to 3 okay we have y equal to 4 we know it so we as a result x minus 4 equal to equal to equal to 2 as a result x equal to 6 but one really interesting moment it looks like our final answer will be like that so x y z if we're talking about the solution so this pair of solution will be equal to x 6 y 4 and then 3 so it looks like this is all solution but we supposed in the beginning that x is greater than y and y is greater than z so this works when if x is greater or equal than y and y is greater or equal than z but we need to know all combination all solution in our case so as a result we need to find all combination of these 6 for 3 so i want to write an answer and i i'm going to explain you so as a result take a look closely now we forget about this suppose we don't need it we have all combination of solution because this constant are the same in every moment so doesn't matter we have addition and we have all times 3 so it can be like 6 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 6 so as a result x can be less than z or in another way so let's try to find all combination so our answer x y z as a result what combination we will have we will have 6 4 3 this is our first combination next what we will have 6 3 4 we can swap our y and z the next one we will have 4 6 3 we have third combination fourth so we'll have 4 3 6 and the next one 3 6 4 and the last one 3 4 6 this is our all combination to this interesting interesting problem so as you can see we can plug in all of these combination and this equation will work right now so i hope you you understand this explanation if you like watch this video once more you will understand it 100 percent because it's not like a tricks right here we factor this 3 to the power z at first then 3 to the power y minus z so it's all about factoring and all about this method to see these three these three right here these three with these three so with these powers so i hope you understand this explanation and i hope you enjoy this this solution if you do please leave a like write any comment i really appreciate it and it's really important when you 
enjoy this video and you write your response to this interesting interesting problem maybe you will have another solution so it's it's really good so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos have a great day